Well, well. The competition's here. Kill them! wandering through the dark. Three guides above them, so three were marked. At night they trailed a drake serpentine and a silver lady shining and fine. If only her visage she would deign to unfold. By day they followed a mountain vault, its riches untold. Did I hear someone complain about the riddles being too easy? Let's think this through. There are nine alcoves, a fresco in each. That's three groups of three frescoes. The riddle mentions three guides above the travelers. We must examine the frescoes, seek answers there. Mm. I'll advise you about the riddle, but I will not take part in disarming the device. I've got a bad feeling about this. say it describes a serpentine dragon swallowing its own tail, which represents infinity and thus time. The hourglass likewise symbolizes time. In this case, the time of the traveler's journey. I believe it's the dragon constellation. It would be visible at night. What's more, sources on alchemy invariably portray dragons as winged, and as an accomplished alchemist, Gehenna would also be a competent astrologer. The verse must refer to the constellation. In alchemy, the winged serpentine dragon represents prime matter, an essential component in the process of alchemical transformation. The verse seems to indicate I think it's the hourglass. I shall take that one. What do you think of the second verse? To my mind, it speaks of the White Rose, symbol of the Order of the Flaming Rose. You see, the fresco itself resembles a coat of arms, and in heraldry, silver is rendered as white. So the Silver Lady and White Rose are one and the same. I think it describes the full moon. In alchemy, the moon represents both silver as a metal and the... The Order remains largely unknown in the South, so the White Rose seems unlikely. Every Nilfgaardian, on the other hand, has heard of the Imperial Norsica Brigade, which has the Death's Head as its symbol. The Brigade's name is female, and they say Death follows a unit. So the Silver... It's the... Allow me. What do you say to the... It describes the precipice, 
the ravine amidst mountains. An ancient rule in alchemy states, as above, so below. The vault is the ravine into which the riches of the mountain flow. We must read the third line literally. To me, it suggests the Mahakam Mountains and its mines, from which dwarves and gnomes extract many ores that are invaluable to alchemists. Those mountains are a vault in and of themselves. The verse is not literal. In many legends, towers are in fact vaults, which the hero must penetrate in order to rescue an imprisoned princess or find a long-concealed magic item. The mountain vault is the tower. The verse did... I'll stand next to that. Let's see if we can solve this. Take your places. Count me out. I want to live. As you will. I shall take that one. I think it's the full moon. Allow me. The mine entrance in the mountainside. That seems logical. I'll stand next to that fresco. Let's see if we can solve this. Take your places. Count me out. I want to live. As you will. expedition has grown thin. Such a shame. I actually found those two amusing. Shut up. Of course, my lady. 